The year was 1939. The team, the Hong Wah Cubes. Tryouts were held. Six Chinese Americans made the team, and they hit the road barnstorming around the nation. Albert Lee was an original member, and at the time, Asians were not really associated with athletics. They haven't seen any Chinese in back east there, so they, they thought we were Indians at first. Yeah, so, so when they saw us play against them, then they know we could play too. There were several different teams around the nation at the time, the Globetrotters, the Qs, and a Jewish team known as the Bearded Aces. And yes, the Qs did battle the Globetrotters in 1939. We didn't do so good because they were too big. These were professionals, but the money was minimal. We didn't really make money, but we got enough for expense, and then we sent some home. Ryan Yip, whose father and uncle were original members of the Qs, is doing a documentary on this team in which he has a personal interest. To give them some recognition for what they had done, kind of pioneers uh, of the first Chinese-American basketball players that went out uh, and toured. Unfortunately, it was a short run for the Hong Wa Qs. Two-year run. It ended uh, during the uh, when the war started. Then they stopped. Uh, you know, Asians were uh, not really welcome when the war started. So uh, they came. They stopped at that time. The Qs were followed by the San Francisco Saints after the war and won the first ever National Oriental Championship back in 1947. Two teams that pioneered athletics in the Asian culture. Reporting in San Francisco, I'm Mike Schumann, ABC7 Sports.